Hello and welcome to Overdrive. For the past few weeks, we have been digging at the basics of automobiles and learning how they work. Today, we talk about the skeleton of it all, the chassis. This essential part of the car is often given an ignorant eye as we tend to ignore what we don't get much options about. But this knowledge might help us in determining what our vehicle's advantages and disadvantages are. Let's get to know them. Chassis is the foundation structure of any vehicle. It holds all essential components of a vehicle, making it the most important thing. It's like what our skeleton is to us. It provides the structural shape and support to the entire body of a vehicle while holding the organs. In this case, the engine, transmission and others. The role of this structure is to keep the car intact while experiencing the forces of driving, turning, braking, adverse terrain and being idle, making it the essential support component of the vehicle. Also called body on frame, this is the oldest one, hence it is the conventional chassis. This one gets its name from the way it's structured resembling a ladder. The body is separately mounted on the chassis to complete the vehicle. The base frame holds the engine and transmission and wheels which are essential for the vehicle's functioning and provides for an extremely strong base for heavy vehicles and SUVs. These frames are cheaper to produce and easy to service and repair and hence are more trustworthy and efficient. However, it is a bit bulky and are a major cause for the increased vehicle weight which in turn affects fuel efficiency. Mono means one and this means that the entire chassis has the base frame fused into the body which looks like a complete car skeleton, a single unit. The remaining elements are attached to this frame to complete the vehicle. This makes it light yet strong and hence more fuel efficient and space efficient. These are lighter and have the entire structure which accounts for more safety of the occupants inside the vehicle, hence the usage in hatchbacks, sedans, sports cars and luxury vehicles alike. However, being a stiff structure, this doesn't have the durability of a ladder frame Hence, these are not so good at off-roading and carrying really heavy weights. This one is similar to the ladder frame, just that there are no multiple links to the suspension, but one rectangular hollow cross-section with a cylindrical tube that passes through it to connect the rear and the front suspension. This gives it ladder frame-like agility with an added protection to the drivetrain, making it the best choice for off-roader vehicles. This is an exclusive, yet an almost extinct one. Technically, if you make a 3D version of the ladder frame, the result is a tubular frame which provides the ultimate safety for race car drivers driving in such high speeds. The solid overall frame gives it the perfect strength to weight ratio and makes the entire structure lighter and more aerodynamic. However, it is an extinct design and hence doesn't find its usage in modern automotive engineering. Electric vehicles are raging in the market and this has led us to learn new terminology including this new chassis architecture of the skateboard. This architecture, as it is called, is flat with four wheels and includes the electric motor and the flat battery pack inside it. The body of the vehicle is then put on the architecture to complete the EV. This is a compact setup which makes this architecture quite versatile and cost effective, making it applicable to vehicles of different sizes and load bearing capabilities. Manufacturers have different concepts towards a similar basic setup. For example, the Hyundai's EGMP, which gave us the Ionic 5 and 6, and also the Kia EV6. That's our bit on the different types of chassis in vehicles, and I'll be back again next week with more facts and insights on automobiles. Hit the like button and subscribe to the YouTube page of Overdrive, and follow us on Instagram. I'll see you next week.